Hey guys, Team Redstone here, and what you see in front of me is my very own combination lock. And I made it myself, it's my own model, and it's very compact, as you can see. Now, previously, I made a combination lock, which I showed in a video that I never uploaded. And the video's gone, I lost the video, it was gone from my computer because all of a sudden, like, all of the videos I recorded just disappeared from my computer. So yeah, it worked in a bunch of two-way AND gates that had outputs that would go into other, that would go into a final two-way AND gate that would give you an output. So basically, it was a whole bunch of two-way AND gates meshed together to form one output that would be powered by flipping four levers in the right position. It's hard to explain, but yeah. Then, I came up with this AND gate that can have an infinite amount of ways. I, I, the most I did was 15, and I don't think you should try any more than that, because due to the 15 redstone limit, it might result in more than one torch turning off by flipping certain levers. So, just to be safe, I only go up to 15 digits. And I'm sure I wasn't the first to create this end gate. I'm pretty sure other people have done it before, but it's very useful. So yeah, let's enter in that combination and see if we can open up that door over there. So the combination is up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, and then the door opens. And all you do to deactivate the lock is flip the levers all into the off position. It can be any position you like. So yeah, it's very easy to program, and I'm going to teach you how to make it. Now, it works off of inverting the pulse. For example, each digit in the combination lock has its own line of redstone. If you want the digit in the com if you want the lever in the digit of the combination lock to be facing up, you are going to want to take this and make this design, which will Make it so that redstone, you're just going to want to make this design, which will make it so that the, dig, the correct dig position of the lever will be up. So if you want the digit, one of the digits to be up, you're going to want to set up the module like this. And if you want it to be down, you're going the digit to be down, you're going to want to set up the module like that. And you can have redstone dust lines connected like that, so you're going to place a repeater whenever that happens, so lines will be individual. And whenever you have a redstone line that's next to one of these blocks that has a torch on it, you're also going to want to replace a repeater. Place a repeater. So, and then you're going to hook that all up to the end gate. So what you're going to need is repeater, redstone, lever, torch, and a block of your choice. And that's really it. So you're going to want to decide. So to build it in further depth, I'm going to be building one right now. You're going to want to decide the amount of digits you want in your code. If it's five, you're going to want to place five blocks in a row. Six, you're going to want to place six blocks in a row, etc., etc. So I'm going to make a five-digit code. So I place five blocks in a row like this. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to want to place five more in front of it. And then you're going to want to place a torch on the other end. Place torches over here. And put some redstone there, like, dust there like that. Now, 
Let's look at my model to see how far away it should be. So, four blocks, you're going to want to move four blocks away and place, so there's four blocks of space there, just like there's over here, let me check, yep, one, two, three, four blocks, yeah, four blocks. And then you're going to want to place one, two, three, four, five aligned there. And then, of course, you're going to want to go four blocks, one, two, three, four, right here. And you're going to want this block to be facing the torches. You don't want it to be facing the output, which will be this torch. And now there's that. And you're going to want to, want to place your levers. Now, I want this to be, this one to be up, so I'm going to place some redstone here, a block, and then a torch. So you're going to want to place some, no wait, you're going to want to place a repeater here, a block here, a redstone torch, and a redstone dust line over there, because that is the module if you want the digit to be up. And now I want this one to be down. So for the down module, you're going to want to place it without this inverted pulse with the torch. You want to place redstone here, so because it won't connect. Place a repeater here because it's next to a block with the torch on it. Place a repeater here so that the redstone won't get powered by that torch. And now another repeater there so that none of the redstone lines of the modules meet. I'm going to want this one to be up, so once again, I'm going to make the up module, and I'm going to want to make this one up, so I'm going to make the up module again, and of course repeater here, and now I want this one to be down, so I'm going to make the down module here. And now, as you can see here, our code is up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. And then, as you can see here, the output turns on, and you're just going to want to place your door here. Uh, let's look here. It is up, down, up, up, down. As you can see, once you enter the code, the door opens. Now, there is a way to crack this code you and be able to break the safe by just looking at the exposed redstone. So naturally, you're going to want to cover up all of the redstone because by analyzing this redstone, you'll be able to break the safe. Now, this is great for puzzle games where someone is going to have to look at adventure maps where someone is going to have to look at this combination lock and determine what the combination is by looking at this. So this is how we break the safe. If you see a block with a torch on it, that means that lever, the corresponding lever is gonna be up. If you see no block with a torch on it, it's going to be down. If you see a block with a torch on it here, so that means it's up. Block with a torch on it here, so that means it's up. And there's none, so that means it's down. So that's a very easy way to break, to crack the code. And this would be great for safes or the entrance to your base. It's a very compact design. Our, really like it. I think this is one of the best combination lock designs. Well, there is. I just hope someone, I'm just hoping no one else has come up with this yet. He, because that looks like such a buffoon thinking I invented this myself. But anyway, let's hope this is an original design. And two more so signing off.